Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy A3. So right now, my A3 is running Android 5.0 Lollipop. As you can see. So I'm just going to show you how to unroot it and return it back to stock. Um, just in case you want to sell the phone on or you want to return it for warranty purposes. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your web browser on your PC. And type in some firmware. And click on the first link here. Okay, so once it's opened up, just click on Firmware Database. Then scroll down. Select Smartphone, Android, and select your model number. So mine's GTS 5275R, Galaxy S3 LTE. And then select your country. So I live here in the UK, so I'm going to select the UK. And also mine's unlocked, so I'm going to select BTU, which is the unlocked version. But if you live in any other country, like Singapore or Portugal or wherever, you just select yours. And if it's unlocked, remember the unlocked version is BTU, it should have BTU on the end. So I'm going to select United Kingdom BTU. And this is the latest um, update, so I'm just going to click on that. And then just select download. But I've already downloaded it and saved it to my desktop, there it is. Also there's some information here, some instructions. So you'll need to extract it and you'll also need to download Odin. Um, here's the link for Odin. Make sure you download Odin because you'll need that to flash the firmware. Um, I'll also leave a link to Odin in the description down below. Okay, so once the firmware is downloaded, just um, right click anywhere on your desktop, make a new folder. Open it up and drag and drop the firmware into there. Right click on it and select extract here. It takes about a minute to extract so be patient. In the meantime you'll need to download Samsung keys. Um, I'll leave a link to Samsung Keys in the description down below because you'll need the Samsung drivers um, to work with Odin. And this is Samsung Keys here. Like I said, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Okay, so it's finished extracting. So when you when when you download Odin and you extract it, it'll make a folder like this. Hold on, just focusing. Right, so when you download Odin and extract it, it'll make a folder like this. Just open it up. And now the folder with the firmware, what you just extracted, you're going to copy this file here. Make sure it says home.md5 on the end of it. So you're just going to copy that, right click on it and copy it. And then you're going to paste it anywhere here in the Odin folder. Then 
then just open up Odin hit yes and you can shut that down okay the next thing we need to do now is put the phone into download mode so we're just going to turn it off so hit the power button turn it off <clears throat> now on the side press the volume down button along with the home button here in the middle and the power button so you're going to press all three until you go into download mode okay it didn't work first time let's try again so volume down power button and the home button okay can be a bit tricky but you just need to keep trying okay so volume down once again home button and the power Come on. Okay, there it is. Now just hit the volume up button now to continue and then connect your phone to the USB cable okay so if you've installed um, the drivers correctly by installing Samsung keys where it says ID dot com here it should now be blue that means the drivers are installed correctly so what you need to do now is you just need to go ahead and um, make sure that these two boxes are ticked auto reboot and F reset make sure all the rest are unchecked just these two boxes here need to be ticked now go ahead and select PDA because we're going to look for the firmware file now so hit PDA and here's the firmware file because I placed it in the Odin folder so just go ahead and hit that okay up here at the top it might say not responding don't pay that no mind that's normal that'll disappear within a few seconds Okay, so you can see it's disappeared. So now we can just go ahead and hit the start option here. And now it'll start flashing. As you can see, it's flashing the recovery. And on your phone, you should see a little blue bar here. So you just need to wait till that gets to the end and then when it says finish down here at the bottom somewhere you know that you're good to go so this does take a while it takes roughly about five minutes or so so I'll be back once it's finished um, flashing okay so it's almost finished here as you can see the progression bar is almost at the end and now it's just flashing the modem
Okay, so it's rebooting now. It's finished. Keep the phone connected, don't unplug it. Now the phone's rebooting again. You've got to wait for this to turn green and then you can unplug it. Okay, so as you can see here it says pass and it says succeed one, failed zero, so we can just shut that down now. Now unplug your phone. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to factory reset the phone, so just take out the battery, put it back in. Hold volume up on the phone, press the home button and the power button to go into stock recovery. Now use the volume rocker on the side and go down to wipe factory reset. Now hit the power button and go down again to delete all user data. Hit the power button. Now just hit the power button to reboot system now. Okay, the first boot does take a while, so I'll be back once it's finished booting up. Okay, so it's almost finished booting up here. Okay, so let's just go through the whole setup process. Next. 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 No thanks. Next. Skip. Skip. And finish. Okay, and as you can see, it's back onto the stock ROM.
No super user app. And when you go into device status here, it should say official. Android 4.2.2 .2, Jelly Bean. So yeah guys, that was just a quick video showing you how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy S3 and how to return to stock. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Also favourite if, if you want and also feel free to share it with friends and leave any comments in the comment section down below if you need help with anything or, or if you get stuck with anything. And thanks very much for watching my video. I'm out. Doses.